Well, hello, my kings and queens. Thank you for coming back to me on a Thursday. I do so apologize to you all that things just didn't work out yesterday as I planned and I was not able to get you your hump day happy hour haul. But what do you know? We're going to just pick up the pieces and keep it moving. And I said, why not do a Thirsty Thursday Dollar Tree review? That's what we're going to do today. So doing a Thirsty Thursday, I have Trader Joe's Green Plant, which is a green food juice blend. And so this is 64 fluid ounces and it is 100% juice. So this is a blend of five juice concentrates with spirulina, chlorella, barley, gra barley grass, spinach, and broccoli, and it says other added ingredients. So let me say, it does have 27 grams of sugar. So this is very sweet. I mean, I was really surprised how nice it tasted. Uh, me, myself, if I'm going to give it to the kids, I'm going to water it down a little bit, but I also think I might splash a little in my smoothies in the morning if I'm doing, you know, frozen uh, fruits and some veggies, whatever, in the morning and making a smoothie, I can always use a little of this along with some water just to sweeten it up if I don't put a banana or something in it, you know. But this is delicious. So those of you who like making your own green juice or, like I said, making smoothies in the morning, this would be a great addition. And, again, it does have 27 grams of sugar, but delicious. So... Let's get started on some reviews. These are Dollar Tree reviews, and these are going to be Dollar Tree reviews on food products as well as non-food products. So the first thing I'd like to start with is this. Yes, do you see it? My pinwheel broke. So this is a pinwheel that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I had it outside in my yard in the garden. I also had a blue one that looks just like this as well that has one pinwheel missing. I made sure I asked the kids over and over again because when I got home, it was like this in the yard, both of them. Um, they said they didn't touch it, so I'm just assuming that after having these outside in the yard for almost, uh, I know one of them I've had out there for more than 30 days, and then I think it was this green one I bought last. It's been about maybe three to four weeks, um, and we've had some very strong breezes lately that it just flew off on its own. So... Um, I didn't know if it could be repaired. I didn't even try to repair it. I'm just letting you know. I mean, I think it served its purpose as far as it being a dollar is all I paid for it. And it looked lovely in my garden. And it worked when it had all six, all six you know, petals. Um, but it did tear up. So just letting you know that I liked it. It worked well in the garden, but maybe too strong of a breeze can actually make one of the pedals on this type of pinwheel come off. Okay, so moving on to the Stouffer's Snickerdoodles. It's, these are the traditional Snickerdoodles, original as they say. This was a six ounce box and it is a crispy cookie. These are not chewy Snickerdoodles. I know, like I said previously before when I bought them, there's a mall here in Maryland that I love buying Snickerdoodles at and they're always a chewy Snickerdoodle. But I did not mind these. I actually did have these one morning as well, a couple with some coffee. And if you dip them in your coffee, they're just as good. I enjoyed these snickerdoodles. The Baker's Cheese Crackers. Now these are, you know, and I don't even think I showed you all that I purchased these in the video because the kids had opened these up and somehow they got on the shelf. But... These I did purchase from the Dollar Tree. These are Baker's Harvest Cheese Crackers. They look just like the Cheez-Its. And 7-ounce crackers. So we all had some mixed reviews around here. And maybe I just like the taste of Cheez-Its better than these. So these were so-so for me. They weren't a favorite. My youngest, he liked these crackers. Um, and I think it was just him and I that had them. I can't remember what the other two. But the baby likes them. I don't. I prefer Cheez-Its than these. So these are the, the say, Baduco sandwich cookies. And these were a delicious chocolate taste, a, a cookie with chocolate flavored filling. Again, the Baducos, I actually have a sleeve. This is how they look. They come in there. They come three in a sleeve. And originally when I saw this, and maybe I should have just looked at it better, I thought this was like a chocolate covered cookie. Had chocolate wrapped on the outside of it. But it's not. It's just a... Hard crisp cookie with a chocolate filling. Uh, these cookies were so-so for me. It wasn't like, oh, they're so delicious. I'll buy them again. 
Um, but two of my boys like them and one of them don't. So the two that like them, I'll make sure that they finish these off. Yeah, the cookie wasn't exciting for me. I'd rather have an Oreo than I have that cookie. Okay, these Orchard Choice Bite Size Mission Figs. Delicious. And yes, these said these say blue ribbon up here. Um, this company, let me see if I can read that. It says product of USA. Oh, Fresno, California is where these bite-sized mission figs came from. And I kept thinking that I didn't like figs, but what I think it is that I tried that I don't like are dates. But these figs are delicious. They remind me of like prunes, but sweeter. I definitely will eat figs again. If I find these again in the Dollar Tree, I will be purchasing them. And I ate them just on their own, how they are. There is a recipe on the back for chocolate dip figs, and um, I didn't even choose to do that. So I did use up uh, this week the Home Bright and Wash Fragrance Booster Clean Fresh Scent. You all have probably already gotten so many reviews on this because people have used them and gone back and bought more. So you might have seen those type of hauls. But yes, this booster, Fragrance Booster, is great. It adds great uh, smells to your clothing. Um, I don't even think I've been following pr pretty much any instructions on how much to add. I have just been pouring in what I feel is appropriate. So I hope that the Dollar Tree brings back that in wash booster. All right, so this Dial Water Blossom 8 Fluid Ounce Hand Soap I did pick up from the Dollar Tree. And I am just so happy that I bought these Dial Soaps. I had never purchased them from the regular drugstore or grocery store before. And I really love the scent of all the Dial Soaps that the Dollar Tree has had. And they're nice, thick soap. Even comparable, I would say, to the Bath and Body Works and Soft Soap. The Renews It Sweet Lemon Farm Fresh. This was a limited edition solid air freshener. I loved it down to the last hard little bit in my bathroom. It did um, it did fragrance my bathroom very well. You could you could smell it. It's not a strong smell like of course if someone uses it, you might still need to spray air freshener. But for you just to walk into the bathroom and and you can smell it. So these are great. I still am so glad that my Dollar Tree continues to have the Snickers and Snickers and Hazelnut because this Snickers bar is so delicious. I did try the Tootsie Fruit Chews Mini Bites. They were candy-coated chews. The, the package right there said new. Delicious. Love these little chewy bites. Um, to me, they aren't even the consistency of a Tootsie Roll. In the inside, they are. But on the outside, it is a hard candy coating. Um, but you can bite through it. And these were delicious. I ate maybe, I think, if I didn't eat the whole bag at once, it was only a little bit left for me to have later. So I finally got through this Brillo Basics dish soap in lavender. And this is a liquid dish detergent. This was a very big size, 30 fluid ounces. Um... The Brillo Basics dish soap, it does the job. It cleans your items. I cannot say that it doesn't do that. I'm just used to a thicker hand soap like Dawn or Palm Olive. This is a little bit more runnier. Um, so it's more of a mental thing. If you don't mind a runny dish soap, then grab the Brillo. I probably won't purchase it again because I'm just stuck on a thicker, which I feel might be a little more moisturizing for your hands as well, um, dish soap. These birthday cake by Bud's Best Cookies. These birthday cake cookies are delicious. They remind me of the birthday cake Oreos. They're just smaller. These are the bite-sized one, and these were good. Everyone here liked these birthday cake cookies. My son took these to school like that whole week, and along with him taking them to school for five days out of the week, we were snacking on them too. We finished this box in no time. So I finally got around to eating this bag of kettle uprooted sweet potato pie potato chips, sweet potato potato chips. And these were great. When the Dollar Tree had all these kettle products, I grabbed them and wasn't able, of course, to eat them all at the same time. But these taste really good. I enjoyed these sweet potato pie potato chips. The Marie Callender Cheese Biscuits. These were also delicious as well. Um, I believe the, backs, the back of here says that I should be able to make six biscuits. I might have only made five. It could have been just my portions. But nevertheless, they tasted good and very easy. All you need is butter and milk and the biscuit mix to make these. You do have actually a variation where you can add some more cheese if you like. I did it. Uh, but these were delicious. We actually 
ate these for dinner, and then I might have had like two left for the morning, even out of the five. And so we, I made some bacon, and we ate the bacon and the biscuit. Mm. Sorry, I see an ant crawling over there. So this original pancake syrup by Harvest Hill, delicious pancake syrup. And I hope that the Dollar Tree um, does not go back to, well, if they do, because I know people, some people like light pancake syrup, fine. But I hope they continue to carry this. For a long time, my Dollar Tree could, would only have light pancake syrup. So I'm glad they have this now. You see it a lot of, all, all the time now, and I hope they continue to carry it. It's a delicious syrup. These TJ Farm Select Crinkle Cut French Fries, delicious. I deep fry these French fries, and they always come out nice and golden and taste great. Sprinkle a little salt and pepper on them, and they taste great. So I was able to go through as well this Palm Olive Classic Tropical Tango, and um, love the scent of this. This was a 12.6 fluid ounce container, so a little bit bigger than the smaller ones you might find sometimes in a Dollar Tree. So this was a great buy, and I love the scent of the Tropical Tango. The Fiesta Fruit. My boys love this fruit, and it is good. I let them devour it, though, more so than me. But by Del Monte, um, I'm, I haven't been back to the dollar store that I got this from in Laurel. So I hope that when I go back, they may have some of this or some of the other Dollar Trees start carrying this because this was delicious. They love this. This is a blend of pineapple, red and yellow papaya, natta de coco, and cherries and a heavy syrup. They loved it even to the point where they wanted to drink the syrup. We, we ate these pretzel. No, I'm not going to say we. This was a me thing. I didn't share any with them. The Pretzel Crisp Garlic Parmesan. Love these. I have never tried these Garlic Parmesan pet Pretzel Crisp. And these are delicious. The Dollar Tree has been having these. I've been seeing them in there lately. I love the flavor of these Pretzel Crisp. The Now Later. This was the original mix. I ate this pretty much on my own, too. I love Now Laters. They tasted great. I went through this Barilla spaghetti pasta. There was nothing wrong with the pasta. I mean, Barilla is a great brand, and it, it did well. It, of course, it was a great spaghetti to have um, with the meat sauce I made that night. Okay. Oh, nope, that's not a Dollar Tree snack. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh, the Divino. Can't say anything bad about it. This is a great gelato. I'm so glad we now have this in my Dollar Tree. They're made in Italy. And you can also eat the fruit. Delicious. Maybe the only um, downside about it, it's small. I wish it was bigger. Okay. And here go. Yes, and they do. Here go the Brim Snack Food Cheese Balls. We've always loved these. And I just noticed for the first time last week on the popcorn that they have Bible verses on here. And yes, even on the back of uh, the cheese balls, that's uh, 1 John chapters 1, verses 5. So I didn't know that. Uh, the company is called Brim Hall Foods Company out of Bartlett, Tennessee. All right. Ooh. Now, this is something I just noticed for the first time, and I've got to figure out what that means. But do you see that says produced with genetic engineering? That just probably means process, and I know it isn't good for me. That's one craving that I hope I can get over one day is my craving for processed foods. Okay. Me and the boys also ate some of the Wise Ridgies. We had these in original and also sour cream. And they were delicious. This, this is a really nice chip. I wonder if this says with genetic engineering. Now I'll be looking for that all the time. One of my subscribers brought that to my attention. They said I needed to be careful with the juices that I find in the Dollar Tree because the juices will say produce with genetic engineering and I've never seen them on back of the juices I've been looking but that's my first time seeing it on the food okay moving on to this pompa grape fruit spread we couldn't get through this I don't like the consistency of it don't like really the taste of this grape jelly um, this is not a, this will not be a repurchase for me I will just stick with Welch's unless the Dollar Tree gets some other type of grape jelly or spread and the Calder's Gourmet Real Mayonnaise. Love this mayonnaise. It has a somewhat sweet taste to it. Very reminiscent of Miracle Whip. It's not like a Hellman's mayonnaise. Um, so, but I, I love the mayonnaise. It tastes really well. Let's see. Um, what, can, what size is this? 10 fluid ounces. 
And, okay, it's distributed by Greenbrier. But I'm not sure. It just says made in the USA. So I like this mayonnaise. Again, that's Calder's Gourmet. And... Oh, the label is gone. And I thought I... Oh, here it is. Okay. I did not like the Snap Cap Auto Scent. And this is a sweet citrus flavor. And it's for the for the car. Comes like that. It didn't smell it didn't do anything for my car. The perks are so much better. So I would say don't buy this. This I don't know what you could do to make it smell anymore. My boys even peeled a tangerine one day in the car. I thought it was this and come to find out I looked behind me and it was them peel, peeling a halo, a mandarin. So um I never smelt this really in my vehicle at all. Anything else in this box? I think that is all for my dollar. Oh, no, it's not. Last item. This Ajax Tropical Lime Twist. And this is a 12.6 fluid ounce container. The Ajax, I love the smell of it. It smelled really good. The thing with me, like I said before, is just having to feel like something thicker. This is not thick like Dawn or Palmolive. Um, but Ajax does the job. And I give that to the Brillo and the Ajax. They both clean your dishes fine. Um, it's just not, you know, the thickness. There's something all in my mind. But I hope you all enjoyed these Dollar Tree reviews for Thirsty Thursday. And again, today's drink is by Trader Joe's Green Plant, a green fruit food juice blend. And it is very delicious. They gave out taste of this. So that's why I went ahead and purchased it. And I thought it was a great juice for my kids. I'm just going to water it down a little bit because it is a high content of sugar. So everybody take care. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you because you could be doing anything else with your precious time. Until next time, you all, please take care of yourselves and have a great day on purpose.